think I'm hardwired to love horses. I've loved them since I can remember. When I was growing up, we would visit my godmother in Lexington. We would always go to Keeneland for the races. Ever since then, I've been bit by the horse bug. I grew up in Lexington, horse capital of the world. The beginning was just an interest in racing, and then it became a love, a love for the horse. My first taste in the winter circle, I never left. It was, I was hooked. There's money in horses, and not all of it's in prize money. In Kentucky, the starting gate marks the end of a process that began years earlier. Breeding, foaling, training, and running in thoroughbred races all require human assistance. That means jobs. So if you're one of those people who've been bit by the horse bug, you're in demand. It all starts here. Typically, broodmare owners pay a significant fee to mate with a favorite stallion. The most joy is being able to, you know, uh, have a client that sends me this mare off the racetrack and we get her to the breeding shed. And then, and then, and then you have 11 months and that baby comes out. That's, that's pretty special. A thoroughbred foal can stand on its legs in its first hour of life. It begins to gallop soon after its first day. You work with the foals each and every day. You put hands on the foals so that they trust you. And uh, if they trust you, they'll give you everything they've got. And that goes a long way. Before long, weanlings romp through bluegrass fields with their stablemates. As their competitive nature takes shape, training begins. Frequent contact develops trust between human and horse. As that bond matures, walking with a bridle begins the process of breaking the horse into saddle. The bucking broncos of the Old West risked injuries. Today, much gentler tactics are employed to acquaint horse and rider. When a horse's owner decides it's destined for the racetrack, some of the more promising yearlings are auctioned for substantial sums. And then, more rigorous training begins. We try to, you know, get the best out of every horse, developing these horses, learning their personalities, getting to know them, you know, they're all like children. They all have their own personalities. When I went to school and we needed an internship, first thing I thought of was the Kentucky Equine Management Internship, which was wonderful. So that really lit a fire under me and taught me a work ethic that I didn't know that I had moving into this business where if you don't have a work ethic, you don't work. I spent over 20 years riding great horses and got to travel all over America. I realized how lucky I was to get to do what I love for so long without getting badly hurt. I've been fortunate to work and learn from some of the best people and horses in this business. That's why Keeneland was such a good fit for me. I went at working on the track maintenance team the same way I started in the barns. I gave up riding derby hopefuls and became assistant superintendent. It's been my ability to adapt and learn and my attention to the details that has helped me move up throughout my career. Thoroughbred enterprises span the globe. I moved to New Zealand for a season to work on a stud farm, prepping yearlings for their sale. It was an amazing experience. I worked in Australia too. The thoroughbred industry is looking for employees who are dedicated and qualified and those who are looking to have upward advancement and that really embrace the lifestyle and the passion of the industry. There are hands-on positions with horses that would need individuals that have some horsemanship abilities, but there are positions in all aspects as well, anything from landscaping and maintenance to finance and different things in the office. So there's a little bit of something for everyone in the industry. Most thoroughbreds don't become household names by racing. Many find homes in recreational riding or dressage. Horses can live well over 20 years. The more fortunate find a comfortable retirement. Throughout their lives, they've been nurtured, trained, and supported by teams of people who have found careers in their care. If you're one of those people with a special feeling for these marvelous animals, if you've been bit by the horse bug, you're in demand.